Racism in football is one of the most detrimental problems in sporting history. In July 2001, the FA issued an official apology to footballers of the 70s and 80s. Right, my name's Colin Parker, and I'm here to talk about my footballing career. I told you it's a cold, cruel world, but you ain't believing me. It started in 1961 when I was playing for local schools in London, able to join QPR in the early days uh, when they had a, a youth team. And I also played for West London Schoolboys and also Middlesex and also London Schoolboys. Um, these, these stretched over about two to three years. Wrinkles on your sweater or the way your clothes lack synergy. A scuff you never bucked away. Nothing's what it seems to be. We've both been missing something. I moved to uh, Dunstable when, at the time I was there, um, George Best turned up. My opinion on racism, when I was playing, racism wasn't an issue. So I don't see racism, but I don't see racism in football in those days anywhere near what it's like now. And I put that down purely to um, social media. How bad of an effect does racism have on football? Now it's becoming worse because players are now starting to take it into their own, their own hands to do something about it. Compared to the racism we, in football we know today, to the racism you knew when you were playing? There was none. When I was playing there was none. There was no animosity, as I've said before, towards coloured players. Um, there was no, no, they call it racism, but in those days you, you would call it bullying. It's a form of racism is bullying, basically. And it turns the coloured people turns him off and they could just walk off the pitch. Uh, but they didn't, they never did, they just accepted him. But in those days it was nowhere near, nowhere near what it's like now. Yeah, I was a player for 17 years, made my debut from home team um, down the road ready. I was a schoolboy. Um, I later went to play 10 years at Wimbledon um, during the time of kind of turn the crazy game. Uh, during that time we got promoted to the top division which was the first division that was prior to um, Premier League. There was football in this country prior to Premier League, believe it or not. And we finished sixth our first year in the first division. Uh, the following season we won the FA Cup. Big talk, but a little man stuck in my woes. I hit the gym to let this appear right off of the coast and now my What is your opinion on racism? Well, obviously, any type of discrimination um, in this modern day and age is it, wrong. It's always been wrong, but obviously, it's more um, in the news more than ever. As you have said, that racism is an issue. Uh, how bad of an effect does racism have on football? Racism, as I said, I mean, racism, like all discrimination, is a part of society. It start laying out the drinks like I really went and set the bar. Someone called a medic, like we trapped in a smoking car. When those certainly now, I mean, as I say, in the days of John Barnes, when black players were in a very small minority in football, they were the target of abuse.